So about a year ago, I was on Instagram looking through people's stories, right? You know, just on some regular everyday shit. And then I found myself watching Lucky's new story, which featured an individual who I felt like I saw before. And hold on, not on some racist shit, okay? It was this Asian dude who was flexing his fit and his lean, his name being Young Weej. Now I understand, alright? You may be wondering, why the fuck are you making a video on this random ass Asian dude that just so happens to hang around rappers? Is this what your low effort, unoriginal channel has come to? While I uh, do appreciate the constructive criticism, this dude is just too funny to not make an entire video on him. His Instagram page is an actual goldmine of some of the best fucking posts of all time. One picture he's pouring up in Korea, the next he's sitting on a couch with ARs, and then he's flexing his racks in front of ATM machines with this white lady just staring at him. Now pretty much, Young Weege is a dude who is known for being around damn near every rapper and streetwear person. But he first went up off the photo of him laying on a girl's ass when he was like 12 or something. So yeah, it's been history since that legendary photo dropped. I guess he's best known for being the right hand man for D Savage. And during that whole 2015 to 2016 fashion and SoundCloud plug scene, he was always around people like of course D Savage who he still hangs with, as well as Ian Connor, John Ross, Gabe, Playboy Cardi, and others. Okay, quick pause here, right? But I just had to show y'all this snippet that has D Savage, Playboy Cardi, and Weej in the back. Now the snippet itself is just your average D Savage snippet, you understand? Besides the fact that Cardi's there of course, but you know, you got D Savage playing the unreleased song in his car, pretty standard stuff here, right? Weej in the back, nodding off as usual, but it's not the video, right? It's the fucking comments. Like look at this shit, Kim leaning off the walk. Damn, D Savage got Kim Jong Un in the backseat sipping lean. Legend. Say what you want, but I respect D Savage for recruiting a B plus Asian student after he was abandoned by his parents. <laughs> wow. Alright, back to whatever the fuck I was talking about. Now, he also had a no jumper interview at 14 where he said maybe like a total of two sentences. And at that, this dude was on another planet, slurring his words and shit. But yeah, Young Weege has pretty much been around for some historical ass times. And honestly, seeing an Asian dude out here towing sticks in music videos, posting up with pints on Instagram, and doing money spreads is pretty wild. Like, this shit isn't something you see on a daily basis. In a sense, you could say that Young Weege is a pioneer for the Asian community. He's probably the first Asian dude to pour walk hard on IG, and I feel as though he's just paving the way for the Asian drank sipping community. Because to be honest, Asian lean enthusiasts aren't really recognized in the drank scene, which is quite disappointing. As a fellow Asian, I feel represented thanks to Weege. So you've seen the title before clicking this video, where I did state that Young Weege is in fact a rapper. It's the one thing I have yet to touch on here. And you're probably thinking, Fuck his dumbass IG pics, fuck his lean addiction, fuck his strap collection, fuck who he hangs around, and fuck his whips. How is his music? Well, he's actually the creator of the drank sippin' anthem, Walkstar. Oh, y'all, y'all think it's mid? Um, well, this man dropped it like six years ago, so it's a pretty old song, but his new shit is actually catchy. He does have a similar flow to D Savage, which is expected since they did come up together. But yeah, his music, despite him not really caring about it all that much, is definitely better than you'd expect. Especially the new joints like Sorry For The Wait, Need It, Forever, and Get To It. So pretty much, if you fuck with D Savage, you'll probably fuck with Weege's music too. Now with all that being said, there really isn't too much information about him. This dude seemingly just popped up out of nowhere, started being around people in the SoundCloud and fashion scene, and just remains a legend for being the Asian dude that sips lean. So if you haven't yet, give the man's music a go, because that shit actually goes hard. And definitely give the man's Instagram a look, because that shit will have you on the floor. Oh yeah, and also, I think he's still locked up in Korea, and nobody really knows why. 
except as people. So, a hey, free weed.